Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are familiar with the method to make a 3D model using AutoCAD software. We have also seen the procedure to generate multiple views from this 3D model on a single sheet of paper and you can go for a plot. But is it possible to find out the weight of a model at the various stages of the modeling process? Yes, we can do that with the help of the mass prop command. In this video, let's explore this command. This command will not only give us the information about the mass, but we will also get a number of relevant data with which you can perform mass property analysis on the 3D model. This is a finished mechanical model. I have used millimeter as the unit in this drawing. Now I would like to get the mass information. So I'll give the command mass prop and I'll select the model. Now you have got a text screen popping up. In the screen, the mass and volume values are the same. That is because the density of the default material in AutoCAD is assumed as 1. But we are interested in the volume information and this information is obtained in millimeter cubed because we have used millimeter as the unit in this drawing. Now I'll convert that into centimeters and round it off to three decimal places. I have got the value as 75.684 cm cubed. This is just a sample density chart. Let's assume that our model is made up of lead metal and in the chart the density of lead is given as 11.3 grams per cm cubed. To find out the mass we will multiply the volume with density and we will get the final answer as 0.855 kilograms. That means if you create this mechanical model with lead, it will actually weigh 0.855 kilograms. Interesting, right? Likewise, you can try out with various materials by changing the densities. Along with this information, you will get a lot of other important data such as the bounding box, XYZ coordinates, then the centroid point coordinates. You know the centroid is the point through which the center of gravity is acting. Then the moment of inertia about X, Y and Z axis. Then the products of inertia, radii of gyration, principal moments along x, y and z axis. Each of this relevant information can be used to perform engineering analysis. If you want you can write this information to an external file and you can keep it for a later use. Next we will cut this object using a cutting plane. In AutoCAD you can cut an object using the slice command. The cutting plane can be defined using a variety of options. So I'll give the slice command. Now I am asked to select the object to be sliced. I will select this object and I give an enter. And the software displays the various options to specify the cutting plane. I will make use of the default option which is 3 points. So I will just give an enter. By specifying 3 points you can define a cutting plane. Just look at this demonstration. I am going to specify these 3 points to define the cutting plane. And you can see the cutting plane in blue shade. I will show you this from various angles by orbiting this model. Ok, now let's perform the slice operation. So I give slice again and I'll select the object to be sliced. When I'm asked to specify the option to define the plane, I'll execute the default option that is 3 points. I'll just give an enter. When I'm asked to define the first point I'll pick here and this is the second point and this center point is the third point. Now after you perform the slice, you can either retain any desired half of the object or else you can retain both halves. If you want to retain a particular half, just pick a point on the desired side. Or else you can just execute both half option. So I'll use both option and it got cut exactly at the cutting plane. Next I'll give move command and I'll select this particular half and this is the base point and this is the second point. So I have moved this apart. Now let me find out the mass property of this half. So I'll give mass prop. It's cut into two equal halves. So obviously the mass of each half will be the same. Look at the volume. It is just half of the previous volume and hence the mass will also be half. Likewise, you can make a 3D model in AutoCAD and you can perform any desired operation. It can be drilling a hole or cutting a slot or smoothening a sharp corner by performing a fillet. Likewise, you can do any operation and you can find out the difference in weight. 
This is exactly what you call as what if analysis. That is, what will be the weight of the model if I drill a hole into it? And what will be the difference in weight if I change the diameter of that hole? So friends, always remember mass prop command as it can give you some vital informations with which you can perform engineering analysis on a 3D model.